Hello, hello, hello. With both the calendar and the Eastern Kingdoms analyzed, a few cups of coffee had, I want to present to you my tier list of all the Alliance level 20 to level 60 zones. As with all of my videos, timestamps can be found in the video description below. Before I show you the tier list, I want to explain to you their criteria based on which the zones were rated, and some other key information which might be relevant to you if you have already seen my tier list of Alliance zones in Kalimdor. First of all, this tier list is only for Alliance characters. Some zones I've classified as neutral, and these will be marked with a small star icon next to their name. What neutral means in this case is that the quests are either the same to both factions, or they're so similar that it makes the pacing of the zone same for both factions. Now, the criteria on which the rank of each zone is based upon are the average experience per minute. What this means is how much experience is the time spent in the zone worth, shortly said how fast does your XP bar fill up so long as you're not AFK? Then, the pace of the zone. Things like how much time do you have to spend to complete the zone? Does it feel like it's taking forever? Etc. Quest linearity. Most of the time, there are multiple quest chains in a zone. I take it into account how well they overlap with one another. In an ideal situation, a linear zone will be easy to understand and impossible to get lost in. Worst case scenario, there are quests all over the place and you don't know where to start. Zone terrain means how easy it is to navigate through the zone. If the place is flat, perfect. If there is an abundance of hills, chasms, or difficult terrain, then that's bad. Lastly, my personal feelings of the zone. This part is extremely subjective. The reason that I've included it is because all of us behind the screen, we are human. Our mood, our feelings, these things impact how we play the game. So I have decided to take them into consideration as well. With all these criteria kept in mind, I've compared all the zones with one another, and thus the tier list was born. Now, in case you are not on my channel for the first time, you may have seen this tier list before. I've decided to make a change for overall better clarity, and this is what we got now. First, I want to start with both continents separately, Kalimdor and Eastern Kingdoms. You see the zones are arranged in a column. Those closer to the top are better, whereas those closer to the bottom are worse. Some zones are next to each other. What does this mean? Let me use the Swamp of Sorrows and the Western Plaguelands as an example. On paper, it means that the quality of these zones are, in my opinion, equal. Of course, they are both different zones, so what does equal mean here? Let's take a look. Swamp of Sorrows has a great XP per minute flow. It does not take much time to complete, but the XP net worth, which means how many levels you can get here, is subpar. On the other hand, the Western Plaguelands has a good XP per minute flow, but not as good as the Swamp of Sorrows. The XP net worth is great, but it takes a while to finish. For each zone, I've decided to balance out these factors together, and both the Swamp and WPL turned out to have equal scores. Of course, there's the factor of pacing, terrain, how I felt, etc., which I've also included. The same logic I've applied to all of the zones, and that's why they are placed where they're placed. Now, what happens if I merge this tier list? Well, here's the result. Now you might or might not be wondering, what about rare mobs? Rare mobs are a huge contributing factor when you're leveling, but they're also very unreliable, because you don't know if they're gonna be alive or not. Most of the time, you have a higher chance of killing most of the rare mob population in the zone if you are playing either early in the morning or very late in the night. In that case, I've decided to make this special version of the tier list, which accounts for killing at least 80% of the zone's rare mob population. Check it out. And that's it. Each zone placed on the ladder has been reviewed by me, and you can find the review videos on my channel. For some zones, I recommend watching them. Fellwood, for example, where I have highlighted a bug in the zone, which can gravely impact the time you spend there if you are not aware of it. The link is in the video description below if you're interested. Now, I've made a promise, and I have to keep it. I may be done with the Alliance, but it's time to slowly, but surely, Work on building up a tier list for the Horde. Storm, Earth, and Fire! Heed my call! Feel free to make use of every information in this video for your leveling purposes. Like, dislike, subscribe, unsubscribe, or come say hi when I'm streaming on Twitch, where I'm pretending that I'm good at playing video games, and from time to time streaming my speedruns of the zone, which is a fundamental part of creating my zone review videos. Have fun leveling, have fun doing whatever you enjoy doing, 
see you later. Until another time, goodbye.